Hey, what's happening, everyone? This is Frank, and I have a project to show. I'm going to install the Ultra Guard. And what I plan on doing, mounting the uh, Ultra Guard to a uh, eight foot uh, chain link fence post. I went to a local hardware store, I couldn't find any angle iron. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach that Ultra Guard to a fence post. They're galvanized, they're strong tube. I think it's a one I'm going to use is an inch and a half diameter, eight foot wide. It's a 94 inch wide guard, rock ultra guard. I'll uh, cut down that fence post, attach the chain to the uh, fence post, and have some extra to throw across that, that member there rather than bolt it to it. And I'll use a quick link to secure the chain and that ultra guard. So the only thing I need to do is raise the jacks, get it resting down so I know what the uh, dimension is. They say you're supposed to have a four inch clearance at the bottom of the ultra guard to the ground. And I got a 20 inch ultra guard by 94 inches wide. And this, as it sits now on the jacks, is 24 inches high. So I need to drop it, measure it, and then uh, determine how far that link chain is going to come down and then decide what my cut's going to be. By the way, I got to get to work. With the jacks up resting on the tires, we're at 22 inches. And the uh, frame cross member is 35. So I'll probably have the uh, chains coming down from that point at an angle out uh, on the uh, uh, Ultra Guard. I've checked out uh, other motorhomes, the high end uh, diesels in the storage area here, and that's how they've got them installed. I believe uh, that's the way you want to have that ultra guard is to have it a little loose there in terms of how it's mounted so it can uh, go over any obstructions of uh, driveways such you don't want it hard mounted to uh, any point on the frame so anyway we'll get to work this is the 20 by 94 wide ultra guard and there's that fence post that block there is uh, simulating the uh, Fleetwood Flare uh, undercarriage uh, frame. So it's two inches wide and the height there uh, may or may not be the same, but the width is, is right on. And so what I've done is uh, plan to make a cutout, uh, giving it a half inch uh, clearance around there and that will give clearance to the frame. So that's the plan. And uh, I'll probably do those cutouts uh, in place once I get back to the motorhome. But I'll start by bolting that pole to the ultra guard. That pipe will actually go on the other side of the, that ultra guard uh, side facing us. Measured the ultra guard to accommodate a four inch rise above the surface at the bottom. That will be the uh, garage setup for this based on measurements. We'll go over to the motor home and install this and pick it up from there. I lifted up the ultra guard with the uh, rope on each side, tied it in place, and then went ahead and uh, wrapped those chains around the member. Okay, the Ultra Guard is fully installed, four inch clearance to the ground at the bottom of the uh, guard itself. A little deflection in the center uh, that may uh, work its way out with uh, it being out of the box. 
and all in all, pretty good uh, fit. See that deflection there? Oh, it'll kick the rocks out a little bit. Anyway, what I did was cut about an inch and a half to get my clearance at the bottom, and then I maintained uh, the the original height in the center just to eliminate any rocks from kicking up uh, out of there. Again, there's there's body here that will keep rocks from flying up, but for the most part, that will seal up that center part. Anyway. Another job complete on the Fleetwood Flair. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I want you to get up and walk like a duck. Me? Yes. I always walk like a duck. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do the duck walk. Hey, Molly, let's do the duck walk. Do the duck walk.